I do just, I get concerned about the message that we send, you know, young women a lot on TV and, you know, in the media, because right now we live at the height of materialism, where it's suggested to young girls especially that you can indulge the most depraved man as long as he's rich. This is evidenced by the franchise Fifty Shades of Grey. Has everybody here seen Fifty Shades of Grey or read it? <laughs> okay, some of you are shaking your heads. Fine. I will give you a quick plot summary of Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> uh, I will be paraphrasing in this monologue, by the way. Is everybody ready? Yeah. Here is Fifty Shades of Grey, a bridge by Dame Baptiste. Hi, I'm a pretty, naive American young girl who doesn't know about sex, even though I have access to the internet and my friend's a journalist. Mr. Gray, you seem so mysterious and rich. Can I interview you? That's right, baby. I am mysterious and I'm rich as hell. Can I put a pineapple in your ass? <laughs> I mean, some other stuff happens, but that's pretty much it. It's fair. Unfortunately, we live in a time where, you know, materialism is encouraged, you know? Do you guys remember the song no Scrubs by TLC. Yeah, great song for the ladies. Not so fun for the unemployed male. That was not a fun song to hear when I was younger. Remember how that song used to go? If you live at home with your mama, oh yes, son, I'm talking to you. If you live at home with your mother, they're talking to you. What if I'm a full-time carer? <laughs> I'm supposed to leave my mother lumbered with bedroom tax, <laughs> then go live with a bunch of strangers and pay somebody else's mortgage, then have those strangers question my life choices, which my mother already does, but I get rice and peas when she does it. Sitting in the passenger's side of his best friend's ride, trying to holler at me. Sitting in the passenger's side of his best friend's ride, trying to holler at me. I'm sorry if me and my friends are concerned about our carbon footprint. <laughs> I'm not entitled to find love? <laughs> if you don't have a car and you're walking, oh yes, son. I'm talking to you. If you don't have a car and you're walking, they're talking to you. So we're supposed to leave our houses in four separate cars, <laughs> knowing full well petrol prices at £1.25 per litre in some stations. Then if you go into London, you're paying a congestion charge four times. If you're going out of London, you're paying a toll charge four times. Then wherever we get when we're going, then you gotta pay a parking charge four times. And if we're all driving, then guess what we can't do? We can't drink, because when you all take separate cars, there's no designated driver, TLC. <laughs> Which means when we finally do get to the club because of all the traffic, because there's four cars adding to that traffic, <laughs> we gotta drink water and sparkling water, then pay club prices for fruit juice. So I'm paying £7.25 for a cranberry juice, and we've been planning this night for months, DLC! Yeah.